What's up you guys? Welcome back again to your Hero Clicks headquarters. Today we're going to be taking a look at all three of the play at home kits from the brand new Avengers 60th anniversary set as well as we'll crack open the dice and token pack to kind of check that out. So without further ado let's dive right into this. Um, we're going to start off with the dice and token pack because that is you know kind of just quicker and easier to get through here. So let's just break this open and see what these tokens look like this time around. I am always a fan of the dice and token packs. They are always nice little addition, you know, to my game, right? Uh, it is nice because now they have the bystanders on the back. So, you know, there's a lot of bystanders that characters generate usually, and it's nice to be able to get those for the set. Uh, so we got these cool Avengers 60th anniversary dice. I really like these with the black and red. Obviously, that's my channel colors. Ooh, a 10. Definitely going to be keeping those. So let's just pop these out real quick and see what kind of bystanders we're working with here. I think one of them actually belongs to a legacy character that uh, legacy card is actually in the Hulk one, I believe. So let's just take a look, see here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Red Hulk. Uh, he is generated by the Legacy Thunderbolt Ross in this very Hulk play at home kit. So we'll check that out here in just a minute. But as you can see, Red Hulk is pretty good for a token. Um, up next, we've got Tippy Toe, another Legacy figure, actually, a Legacy card that uh, generates one of these. So really nice to be able to get this. Again, like I said, in these, you know, Dyson token packs, um, a zombie. Uh, we did pull this in our uh, first, you know, brick unboxing. So uh, it is Morgan Le Fay who generates these. So we did get her. And so you can check that out there if you want to see what she does. Uh, we got another zombie. I think there's a couple of zombies. Um, and actually, there's also the Chase uh, Black Skull, I think it is, that makes the War Machines. So really cool to get a couple of those as well. Um, I also like, you know, that there's different art on the zombies. <laughs> there are two different zombies entirely. That's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so that's that. Uh, lots of cool tokens there. Without further ado, let's get into the, the good stuff here. So I think we'll start with the Hulk and make our way down here. And there we go. Uh, another cool thing about these play at home kits now is they're no longer just a figure and a map. They give you so much extra stuff. It really makes the like 20 bucks that these things are just so much more worth it in my opinion. So uh, here we have the Hulk, you know, very cool sculpt there. Very awesome looking. Uh, and he's a pretty fun figure too. We'll take a look at his card in a minute, but uh, so you can see here, it does now come with a bunch of terrain as well. Uh, anytime you're going to get a map now, you're going to get terrain with it as well. So if you guys didn't hear about the big terrain update, uh, well, I don't know where you've been living, uh, under a rock, you know, under some debris here. <laughs> but uh, there's the new terrain rules, which they basically act kind of like how old heavy objects used to work. Uh, where you can pick them up and smack people with them. So these are really cool. This is a huge chunk of elevated terrain. You can just place this anywhere on the map as you want. This is a three by three chunk of elevated terrain. That is crazy. Uh, and it does, of course, have stats here. So it's going to take a whopping five damage to break this and turn it into debris. Uh, otherwise, if you have super strength, you can pick this up, throw it two squares for three damage. Uh, or it'll give you giant reach three to hit somebody with it for plus two damage with a close stack. Bonk. Which, totally worth it uh, to use it for that. Then uh, we've got a nice little hunk of blocking terrain here that uh, you can see the stats on there. Same as the other one. Uh, pretty similar anyway. And uh, then we've got bah -bah, this bush, which is... Uh, actually, it should have an effect. I don't know if there's like a card in here with that. Let's see. What do we got in here? The cards it comes with. Yeah, it does have its own card. So that's really cool. Uh, so the heart-shaped herb bush. Um, you kind of think that would come with like a Black Panther play at home kit. But regardless, uh, it's got an effect. So adjacent characters that are adjacent to or occupying this train have power heal one click. So they can, anybody can just take a power action to heal a click from the heart-shaped herb bush, which is very cool. And I don't see a point value on this anywhere. I don't think this has a point value. Oh, that's really cool. 
it just actually has the whole artwork on it. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, so you can just play this terrain like for free and get some healing in if you need to, which is really awesome. But let's take a look at this Hulk here. So uh, as you can see, he's got Hulk Splash. When Hulk makes a close attack, if he occupies the listed terrain after resolutions, he may use one corresponding effect as free. Hindering, smoke cloud, elevated, move, water, pulse wave. Uh, so whenever he makes a close attack and occupying that type of terrain, then he gets to use this effect as free. So if you're, as basically if you punch somebody and you're in water terrain, he then gets to free pulse wave everybody, which if you don't know is now a locked range of four. So that's going to be a four range pulse wave all around him, which is pretty nuts. Uh, whoops, I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> oh well, uh, he's Hulk, he can handle it. Uh, he's got improved movement, destroys blocking, which is great. Only 75 points. Um, he does kind of suffer from the old school, you know, has to take a few hits to really be good kind of Hulk dial. Uh, but hey, I mean, you know, not bad with that really cool trait. And I think he had another trait. Yes, he gives him passenger one free, make a close attack, but only to target characters that have been targeted by another friendly character with a scientist keyword this turn. So that's pretty key right there. All you have to do is carry somebody with that passenger one that has the scientist keyword and has like perplex or outwit or something that can target. And then you just move up to somebody, have them like perplex down their defense or outwit their defense or something. Then he can just free make a close attack on them. And if they happen to also, you know, be sitting in some hindering or uh, elevated or water, then you get to use one of those effects as free after resolutions as well. Uh, so really, really cool. I like that a lot. I definitely think he's worth the 75 points. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying him out for sure. Definitely looks like a super fun Hulk. Up next here, we got the General Thunderbolt Ross uh, Legacy card. This one has uh, on his movement power there, those last two clicks, Red Hulk free. Once per game, generate a Red Hulk bystander and place General Thunderbolt Ross on his card. This game, when the Red Hulk bystander is KO'd, KO General Thunderbolt Ross. So that's the, uh, you know, token we took a look at a second ago. So boom, he can generate this guy when he's, when he gets hit to his last couple of clicks there anyway. He can take that free action to make this thing, which has got a 10 movement charge, 11 attack with poison, 18 impervious, and 3 damage without wit. So a uh, pretty strong bystander. And the fact that you could just kind of move him up and then take the free action to make the bystander and pop him back on his card, and then the bystander could poison, uh, outwit something first, and then poison too is really good. So uh, definitely want to take advantage of that if you get the opportunity. He also has a special attack power on his last three clicks, which is call in the airstrike. When this click is revealed by an opposing attack after resolutions, deal one penetrating damage to the attacker, or the attacking character and all opposing characters adjacent to the attacker. So uh, it's kind of like Mystics in a way. And it, since it's whenever this click is revealed by an opposing attack, you could, you know, like if he gets hit with an energy explosion or something, takes a couple clicks of damage, he's de dealing two penetrating right back to them as well as anybody adjacent to them. And if you do have some healing on your team, like, oh, I don't know, a heart-shaped herb bush, uh, then he could just heal himself back up and take another hit and you deal more damage back or just, you know, move up, take the free action to pop out the Red Hulk, like I said. Uh, so yeah, not bad at all. Uh, he's got the shield team ability as well and some starting leadership for 45 points. I will say 45 might be a bit much. You know, if he was like 25, 35 kind of range, we could be really talking then. Uh, but yeah, not bad, honestly. I think it'll be kind of a fun one to try out. Uh, and then, yeah, we already talked about that bush. So a uh, really good one here. I like this Hulk kit a lot. Uh, I think it comes with some really, really interesting stuff. And uh, let's take a quick look at the map. From what I heard, all of the maps had one unique side and one side that was the same across all three. So let's see if that's really the case here. Um, all right, so first of all, on this side, we do have, wow, a very cool looking, uh, what is this, like some type of Avengers headquarters? Yeah, <laughs> Avengers Tower says it's outdoor. It looks indoor to me, but yeah, really cool. Kind of like a little command center set up there. Uh, I know it can't really fit in the camera. Sorry about that. And then this other side is Wakanda. 
And I know this used to be one of my favorite maps. Uh, the King's Throne was over there. And the, the back in the day, this one had a special effect where the hindering gave you like plus two against range attacks. Uh, so that was a really good one. But they've cut it down now. So it's, you know, one of the shorter maps with the perfect square. So yeah, very cool. So I'm guessing each side is, each one of these is gonna have the Avengers map, but we will have to see. So let's take a look at the next one here. We got Captain America. So let's pop him open, take out this Captain America. All right, and uh, so there's the map. We'll take a look at that in a second. First, I wanna break this open here, take a quick look at the terrain, because I am really digging the terrain. Uh, I love the terrain rules update. One of my favorite rules updates ever, and uh, some really, really cool stuff coming out of here so far. Uh, the, all the terrain in the Spider-Man set to start things off was amazing. And we got some really cool stuff already coming out here in the Avengers set. So let's take a look here. We got some elevated, um, you know, pretty basic stuff there, but you got some elevated. I do really like the elevated train. I think it's my favorite type of train to place down on the map. Then we got some random hunks of uh, hindering. This one actually has a special effect that we'll take a look at in a second. And then we got some generic kind of objects because, uh, you know, objects now are all pretty standard. Basically, they're all just what light objects used to be. Uh, but it's cool, we got like grenades and night sticks and stuff now. So uh, there's a quick look there at the stats on those if you wanna look at them. But yeah, really nice. All right, so let's first of all take a look at the Captain America we got here. He's got that running, about to throw a shield pose, yeah. But uh, let's see, you got Avengers, Past, and Soldier, Leadership, and Willpower. When Captain America uses either power to remove an action token from a friendly character after resolutions, choose one, heal that character one click, or remove an additional action token from that character that does not trigger this trait. So, uh, you know, you got Leadership and Willpower can either remove two tokens from you know, himself or somebody else, or he can potentially heal them and click also, so, or one or the other really. So yeah, really, really cool for only 55 points. And then we've also, let's see, you got another trait. This other trait here says, friendly characters with the Avengers keyword that have no action tokens have safeguard outwit. Oof, that is really strong. So all friendly characters anywhere on the map, as long as they have the Avengers keyword and no action tokens, they get safeguard outwit. That's very strong for only 55 points. Very cool. And he's removing a ton of tokens with leadership and willpower too. Uh, you got running shot, precision strike, 18 energy shield, two damage with some uh, enhancement. Uh, this is definitely a team player cap. Then he just goes to like charge, combat reflexes and empower. So yeah, definitely very team friendly team player kind of Captain America. And then we can take a look at the uh, fence we got here. So this fence just says, characters in this terrain squares can use energy shield deflection, which is pretty nuts when you think that it's also hindering. So you're gonna get plus one from the hindering as well as being able to use energy shield deflection. Uh, so this is a very, very powerful, you know, uh, terrain, if you can place it just right. And again, very cool on the back of the card there, with the full artwork. Uh, yeah, you place this in the right spot and it's gonna be very hard to uh, hit your characters from range for sure. And last but not least for this play at home kit, we've got another Captain America legacy card. I'm super glad this one got a legacy card because I really like this Captain America and I have him. Uh, I just don't feel like digging him out of my box right now, but uh, he's got the Avengers Defenders Howling Commandos Invaders, past, and soldier keywords. Avengers and defenders team abilities is really good. And then he's got Captain America's shield. Captain America begins the game with a shield token. When he has a shield token, modify Captain America's combat values by plus one. Free, remove the shield token from Captain America and place it in a square within four squares on line of fire. At the beginning of your next turn, return the shield token to Captain America. So pretty nice in that uh, leads into his next trait here that says flurry giant reach two. when captain america makes a close attack he may target opposing characters as if he occupied the square the shield token occupies so really awesome he can just kind of take that free action to toss that shield token out and uh, flurry with a giant reach of two from that shield token square 
And uh, that's a very interesting way of kind of representing how he attacks with a shield bouncing around. Uh, I personally would kind of rather just keep the shield for the plus one all combat values and just charge flurry on him with a 12 attack, four damage. And, uh, you know, like the 19 defense would be nice too. For only 50 points, he could be doing a ton of damage. Um, so yeah, very good. Uh, but, you know, also just tossing that at some random square and flurrying, giant reaching, or maybe around a corner or something could uh, really catch your opponent off guard too. So very, very cool Captain America legacy card. And uh, I do like that one a lot still. So let's move all this stuff to the side and then we'll take a look, see at the Iron Man one. Oh, you know what? I am actually cheating here because we forgot to take a look at the map. So let's take a quick look at the map from the Captain America set. Play at home kit, not really a set, <laughs> just a kit, but uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, it looks like we've got that same Avengers tower there on the one side. On the other side here, it looks like some type of like a military barracks or something, which is very, you know, Captain America kind of thing to do. Um, yeah, it's a shield holding facility, okay. So it's actually like a shield jail cell or something. Uh, that's really cool though. Very cool map, I like that one a lot. I'm gonna have to try that one out for sure. So yeah, really cool maps. Last but not least, let's take a look at the Iron Man. This is probably my favorite just because, you know, personally, I'm a big fan of, oops, I'm a big fan of Iron Man, favorite character. Uh, but there we go. And definitely have been looking forward to this guy getting a superior Iron Man. Been looking forward to that for a long time. Um, I do kind of wish it was his own sculpt though, because they just painted uh, old looking suit silver. So it would be nice to get a full on superior Iron Man. But this one, you know, it doesn't disappoint. It's a really good figure. Uh, we'll take a look at the terrain first again. This one got some really cool terrain, which may be the best terrain of the three, possibly. Really depends, I guess, on your strategy here. But uh, we got another cool object here that's like a, a trident or something. Not, I guess maybe not a trident because this is all like lava and fiery stuff, uh, like a pitchfork, I guess. So that's cool. And then we've got, uh, oh, what is that? A skeleton, just like a burned out skeleton there. looks like very cool. Some blocking terrain to hit stuff with, just a big rock. And then another big rock. This one's really cool though, because this is two different types of terrain. You'll notice here, we got uh, part blocking and then we've got the elevated here. So it gives you a whole nother kind of strategy here with this one. I really like this one a lot. It's very unique compared to all the other ones we've seen so far. And it does give you the, you know, giant reach two and the plus two damage. So that's always nice to see, but this is a very cool, unique piece of terrain. And this one is another very unique piece of terrain because this is lava. And we'll take a look at the card here in just a second, but you can deal some damage with it, which is pretty crazy. So I actually want to just pull that out first to start with. So we got Pool of Lava. At the end of each player's turn, deal characters friendly to that player one penetrating damage if they occupy this terrain. So, uh, blah, Pool of Lava. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, you can kind of, you can actually TK water. You can't pick it up and hold it, but you can TK it and place it. So what's really cool about this is you can kind of TK it under your opponent's team. And then if they don't move out of it and, you know, if they're in like a really good spot, you can force them to move. Otherwise, they're going to sit there and take a bunch of damage. Uh, so that's really cool. I like that one a lot. And then we'll take a look here at this superior Iron Man who is freaking awesome. So you've got the Avengers, Illuminati, Stark Industries, Symbiote, Armor, Celebrity, and Scientist keywords, uh, as well as the uh, Underworld team ability so he can carry some people around. He's got Extremis 3.0, Perplex, when superior Iron Man or a character with an Extremis token uses Perplex, after resolutions, give all targeted characters an Extremis token if they don't already have one. If all other standard characters on the map have an Extremis token, modify superior Iron Man's combat values by plus two, and he has the Cosmic Energy team ability. So uh, he can get to ridiculous levels of power and you know get you know protected outwit and willpower so that's really awesome uh, you just kind of have to put in that a little bit of work to get everybody perplex everybody and give them an extremist token uh, but coming in at 125 or 75 points 
And on his uh, special powers here, his defense gives him invulnerability and mastermind and modify defense plus one for each adjacent character with an extremist token, protected outwit. A very powerful defense power to start with. Then on his damage, he's got giant size, exploit weakness. When Superior Iron Man uses Perplex, he may instead target all opposing characters within range and line of fire and chooses one combat value for all. And he gets that later, so uh, of course, you know, once he starts taking some damage, he can kind of perplex everybody at once and, you know, get that big stat boost and everything. Kind of maybe save himself a little bit or fight back anyway. And he starts with that special defense power on both starting lines. So, you know, good reason to use him at either one. I want to just play him at the full 125 with a bunch of cheap perplexers. Do a perplex chain from himself down the line so your whole team has extremist tokens. Then you just run up and you just make it your goal to just perplex your opponent's whole team, and then he gets immediately plus two all stats. And uh, yeah, that's going to be super fun. Can't wait to use this Iron Man. He's going to be amazing. And then we have, last but not least, the legacy card for Iron Doom here, which of course I have every Iron Man figure in the game, so I have this guy chilling in his box over there. But he's got the Exiles, Weapon X, Armor, Politician, Ruler, and Scientist keywords as well as the Minions of Doom team ability, which now kind of lets him heal when something's KO'd. But anyway, his first trait here says, when an opposing character within range would heal, they instead heal one click less. So he can stop healing from happening, which is pretty nice. There's a lot of healing going around nowadays. And then you've got uh, Invincible and Mastermind and Shape Change and Protected Pulse Wave and Outwit. So on that defense power to start with and at the end of his dial, you got that three power combo, invincible mastermind shape change that's protected outwit. That's pretty nasty to deal with. Then on his damage, he's got outwit and perplex. And when Iron Doom uses either, the duration doesn't end until he uses this power again, or this power is lost. So he can basically perplex something up and it'll stay perplexed up until he chooses to you know, do something else. Or if he loses the power, same with the outwit, he can choose to outwit something and that will never not be outwitted until he you know, loses the power or chooses to outwit something else. So very powerful ability. Um, he does start with that, which is really nice. And he gets that again, kind of in the middle. Uh, so yeah, I mean, running shot, eight movement with eight range, 12 attack for four damage, pretty nasty. Coming in at 125, he used to be like 200 some points, I think, or like 175 or something. So they definitely knocked off quite a few points. Um, not quite cut him in half, I don't think, but they knocked off a lot of points because he was like 200. Uh, so he's definitely a lot cheaper. There's a lot more cool things now. He did used to do something before that he could like outwit across the entire map, like regardless of range or something, which I do kind of miss that. That was really cool. But regardless, uh, very cool to have that as a legacy card anyway. Last but not least, we'll rip open the map here and just take a quick peek at that. And uh, you guys can let me know down in the comments below what you guys think, which one is your favorite of all of these play at home kits. If you could only get one, which one would you get? I know me, I was gonna get all three either way. Uh, but yeah, you got this really cool map with this Iron Man one, which uh, is the Council of Red Chambers Outdoor. Very cool. So that's nice to have. And the other side is the same as the other two. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, you guys, make sure you smash that like button. It does help me out a lot. Let me know down in the comments, like I said, which one's your favorite and everything. And don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And if you guys would like to help support the channel even more, make sure to check the links in the description for our Patreon. Or you can also click that membership join button down below as well. So you, for as little as $1 a month, you can get entered into our monthly giveaways. And you can see your name here in the credits with all these other awesome people. But that's going to do it for this one, you guys. Thanks again so much for watching. And thanks again to WizKids for sending me this stuff to unbox for you guys. But until next time, this has been HeroClix Headquarters, signing off.